The first pyramid is presently located in the grid over the area you call Antarctica, which would be considered a portal to other planetary grid system. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency signature Exerthanius. The function of this pyramid is to create and guide experiences linked to the comings and goings of extraterrestrial entities who were part of the history of planet Earth. And there were many entities from these faraway worlds that were once part of the story of your planet. Their journeys encoded within the Matrix by Exerthanius and his two assistants. Their souls having experience through the energy of this pyramid as those who come from Sirius, Nibiru, Orion, Lyra, the Pleiades, Mars, Andromedia, Arcturus, Vega, Venus, Jupiter among others familiar to you. And so the storylines would read that these entities came to your planet in great spaceships and interacted with those who lived on the planet, in the water and others below the surface. And there was created a tale of a great spaceship buried beneath a giant lion who serves as a marker and similar stone markers were left on every place created in the heavens which link to the matrix. The experiences in other worlds are as real as your soul experience at this time on planet Earth. Those souls would carry the memories of these distant worlds often as a truer reality than that which they came here to embrace. And when this book is found, the ice shall melt from this place, revealing starships created by this pyramid, left behind as reminders of their work and interaction on your planet. And the energies of this pyramid shall still be read in the matrix of this total creation and experienced by those who would come to these creational forces for guidance. And Exerthanius shall guide their souls through this geometric matrix so they may remember and join with other expressions of their creation and soulmates shall meet in many worlds and forms, and they shall join in union, then be thrust apart, to once again rejoin in other alien forms. There does exist a pyramid above the Arctic whose purpose is balancing the poles of the planetary grid and of consciousness once frozen in time now melting down and shifting on all levels. A monarch ice crystal. The keeper of this pyramid is known by the frequency name, Sophia Hokmat, creator of all knowledge and wisdom. Sophia creates an ever-expanding body of knowledge flowing through the consciousness matrix where souls experience that they may study the natural laws of creation, then learn and develop their abilities to think and understand that which is occurring in the realities. For it is in Sophia's matrix that the souls understand the connection of all things to this matrix, to the twelve pyramids, and to the central source that acts as a hub in the center of all of this, the creational energy that gives life to the twelve pyramids, and all that they create as expressions of the geometric design. Within this frozen monolith one understands how our soul is created and how that soul can manifest in many realities at the same time, taking knowledge from the matrix with each experience. Within this pyramid, one can create and access great wisdom by a mere thought, and that thought is linked to all other thoughts which bind the souls together, and that in one nanosecond of your timeline, all information is learned and understood by all. It is now time to travel to the halls of knowledge created within this pyramid of ice and light. You will combine your mind and consciousness with the matrix. Then you will understand all things in your world. There is a pyramid in frequency over the Inca ruins of Machu Picchu. It is linked to the Nazca lines creating a pattern of evolution in design. The soul who creates through this pyramid goes by the frequency, Lubalia. Her consciousness speaks to the people of Earth about a time long ago when ancient travels from the stars descended to the surface creating a landscape in which souls would descend from above to experience later to return to her consciousness through her temple. It is within this pyramid that emotions are experienced ranging from lowest frequency to those of pure light energy. The nature of this pyramid is to keep emotions flowing in that which you experience as formless waves of energy, which shift within each soul from moment to moment. 
and the souls shall know all ranges of these emotions for they are in the matrix and they have come to experience the gamut of them all. And the souls will place in highest esteem the frequency of light which is creation and contains all emotions in balance. And they will connect it with that part of their being that links to the source of creation, the heart that which expresses what they shall call love and keeps the soul eternal. They shall strive for this place of higher emotion. In so doing, they will experience great suffering which will help them bring forth higher understanding. And the souls will feel torture and torment and love and compassion. And they will place all emotions into words and deeds and great dramas in which they did act. And great works shall result in the expression of their emotions guided by the flow of the emotional matrix. And they shall go to this emotional temple within their souls to find answers to riddles of creation. There they will find their answers, not always as their senses have guided. And each soul shall search until it is ready to enter this pyramid. Once entered it will experience all emotions at one time, with understanding far beyond the comprehension of humanity. Each soul shall embrace all emotions within itself. Come with me now to the pyramid of emotion. Let not all fears blind your way. Throw away all concepts of emotion and see the truth in who you are. I will teach you how to find peace and the balance in your soul. The Mayan pyramid is in the grid of time and synchronicity. The keeper of the pyramid is Quetzalcoatl. Within the pyramid, timepieces and symbols are created in accordance with the laws of creation. They are carried throughout the matrix, combining all wisdom and knowledge within their design. They fit together as the gears of synchronicity forming the totality of human experience. In dream time and meditation one moves within the matrix attracting the keys that synchronize with needed experiences. And Quetzalcoatl created encoded keys within his timepieces to guide the souls into higher consciousness. He placed his keys within the matrix to be found by those who were him chosen, so they may teach humanity about the changes that occur at the end of a cycle. And the two souls who assist Quetzalcoatl operate and maintain the keys as they will be found and the information unlocked. Join me now within the halls of this pyramid as there are keys that will return you to your natural state of being. You will recognize your keys of light. They will open your soul and your consciousness. Quetzalcoatl returns. Darkness emerged from the void moving into the pyramids of consciousness ending as souls cross over the bridges of time, space and illusion. The sacred spirals of geometry guide their journey home. The end of my story takes me to the pyramid over New York City. The soul who oversees this pyramid goes by the frequency Isis for she is the feminine aspect in all that moves through the matrix. It is she who expresses herself in the form of the Earth Mother. She, who is creator of life and evolution. She who sends energy to the matrix that perpetuates the reality in which souls may manifest. She, who has no permanent form, but that of light. It is she that you knew as Sekhmet and Hathor, among other creational forces. It is she who creates from her pyramid, weaving her creation into the fabric of time. Her energies move through the matrix touching all that is in creation, all that flows through consciousness, all and everything that is both old and new, for they are one and the same. From her pyramid she brings the matrix full surf creator and destroyer all in one. Travel with me to the pyramid of the feminine, she who now returns to planet earth to express herself in the light harmonics of creation. <laughs>